Soldiers assigned to the 1st Battalion, 18th Infantry Regiment and the 9th South African Infantry Battalion conducted situational training exercises as part of exercise shared Accord 13. Major Chuck Slagle says, we all have much to learn through the conducting of partnered exercises. Really, we're both here to learn. Uh, the South Africans have a lot of experience and uh, really we're just sharing. We're not necessarily, we're not training them anything. We're like steel sharpened steel. We're improving each other through this exercise. We each have something to learn. What I was happy with is to be working with the guys from another country like you guys from America. I was also happy that uh, you are also putting part on our effort. Situational training is intended to strengthen the tactical response and capability of the forces. Sergeant First Class Raymond Hodge explains one aspect he feels the South African infantry have noticed while working together with the U.S. forces. At the company level, um, I, they, they don't um, put as much of the emphasis on planning from their NCOs as, as we do, and I think that they're starting to see the value in that with, with us helping them during the planning process. I, I took the casualties, me and the XO, Zanif Executive Officer. We, we moved to uh, secure HLZ. We called in the 9-line medevac. It was a really unique experience to be able to sit there and, and work with a, you know, a foreign officer like that. I talked to him after and he said that it was a unique experience for him. More than 3,000 military participants from the South African National Defense Force, alongside approximately 700 U.S. military members, will conduct military operations as part of the exercise. Reporting for Shared Accord 2013 in Grahamstown, South Africa, I'm Army Sergeant Noel Gehrig.